Hello friend, welcome to day 20th. For the next four days, we're going to be pulling inspiration from the book The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. On it, he speaks about the source of self-limiting beliefs that steals us from happiness and joy, and that creates needless suffering. Today, we're focusing on agreement number one. Be impeccable with your word. So, let's bring that idea onto the mat and let's get started. Let's begin in Sukhasana. Easy seat. Today we're going to be working on our shins and on our knees, so if you need some cushion to protect them, make sure that you grab something soft so your practice is as comfortable as you can make it. Then come and meet me, sitting down. Bring your wrist on top of your knees and take a moment to choose your palms down or your palms up. Palms down if you want a bit more of reflection today. Palms up if you want some inspiration. Then soften your gaze or gently close your eyes. Allowing your body to arrive to this moment. And using this moment of stillness to allow your mind to arrive. Notice the weight of your body distribute between both of your seat bones. Entertain the idea of softening the tension on your hips and allowing the knees to softly fall down towards the ground. Bring some tone into your belly allowing your spine to elongate and your shoulders to melt down your back. Crown of the head, reach it up to the sky, then soften your face. And take three belly breaths with me. Inhale, bring the bed, Bring the breath into your belly. And exhale it, let it go. Two more. Be impeccable with your word. Speaks about integrity. Gently open your eyes if they were closed. Reach your right arm up to the sky, left hand down to the side. Press through your hip bones, through your sit bones, elongate your spine even more, then start to reach your torso to the left side bending your left elbow. Integrity. So bringing that idea into a physical realm. Try to keep the integrity of the whole spine. And the neck is also part of the spine. So you're gonna stay here for a couple rounds of breath. Notice if you're whoop, letting your head drop or keeping it lifted. See if you can find that continuity integrating all the parts of the body. Softening the grip of tension at every exhale or trying. Press on your sits bones, lift up, right hand down. Left arm up to find space first. And the exhale takes you to the right side. Good. 
So we go back to that idea of aligning head with heart, thoughts with actions. Come to the center, both hands down. I'm gonna turn to the side. We're going to extend our legs long. Bring your right leg over the left one. Hug it with your left arm as much as you can here. Give it a nice hug. Maybe finding a stretch on the other side of your hip. Long to your spine. Begin to twist from your rib cage towards the right side. And you can even bring your right hand behind your seat, help you to whoop, lift a bit more through the spine. Engage your left leg by flexing your left toes. Then allow your breath, the inhalations, the expansion that happens on the belly to help you create more space on those areas that might be tight in the body. More space, maybe for new ideas, like saying only what you mean during the day. Easy, gaze forward, then unwind your twist. Second side, I'm gonna turn to the second side here. Left leg over the right leg now. Flex your right toes, sit up toe. Hug your left knee towards your chest. Choose what you're going to do with your left hand, either back or you can hold on to your right wrist or underlace your fingers. Then lengthen, press into the ground. So the idea for our practice is to be careful about how we use our words. And we're gonna practice avoiding using our words to speak bad about ourselves or others. Words have such a power that they can create or destroy. So begin with yourself first and notice during this practice, how do you talk about yourself? What are the self-limiting beliefs that you keep repeating in the back of your mind? On why? And challenging poses are a great way to notice that negative self-talk. Bring yourself onto your shins. Open your knees wider than your hips. Extend your arms in front of you and send your tailbone back. Integrity, right? So keep your spine elongated, your neck elongated, securing that length with your whoop, core connection. Now hug yourself here. On the exhale, open up, send your arms back. Careful not to push your hips forward here. You're still on top of your knees. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, back it up. Inhale, and exhale. So you're thinking of sending your tailbone towards your heels, hinging from your hips, Allowing this movement to happen from the joints, not from your spine. All right. You can start adding your own rhythm. Whatever rhythm feels good for you here. And right away, connecting. What are those thoughts, those negative thoughts about yourself that keep you on a suffering place? We're gonna switch the arms, keep going with the lower body, but the arms are gonna switch. Here we go, right arm to the right, and lower, and reach, down, 
reach down press through your shins check in with the core make sure it's working as well here we have a couple more Here is just a little seat that I want to plant on your brain. If the negative thoughts that you have about yourself can make you feel depressed and sad and worthless, isn't it the same for good positive thoughts? Wouldn't it work the same if you have a positive thought? Then maybe wouldn't you feel happy, content, worthy? Power of thoughts. Just an idea. Last three. That was one set. Two. Last set. Right and left. And come through center. Slowly flip yourself into all fours. And find a moment of stillness. On your next inhale, softly bend your elbows, expand through your belly, press your heart forward, long neck. Let the exhale round your spine. Press the floor away. Let the inhale expand you. And the exhale, contract. Do four more at your own pace. You and your breath. Let's do two more. Come back to center. Slowly bring yourself back onto your shins. We're going to do a back bend, a little bit of a variation of a camel pose. So bring your knees just a bit wider than your hips. A bit wider. Tops of the feet down on the ground, or if it's better for you, you can tuck the toes under. I'm going to keep my, hand, my feet flat today. Bring your hands behind your back, fingertips pointing down into the ground. Now begin by lifting through your core, pressing your knees down on the ground so you have that strong foundation. Begin lifting your heart up to the sky. Gently press your hands on your low back. Open through your heart by connecting your shoulder blades in towards each other. Gaze up, sheen up, then allow your head to slightly begin to go back as far as you can go without forcing anything. Keep your core connected to come out of it. Imagine you're going to do a crunch with your belly. So connect the belly towards the spine and slowly start to lift up hands on the ground, child's pose, forehead on the mat, palms facing down, take a couple breaths, we're going to do that camel pose one more time. Gently begin to rise. Second time for camel. Ready? Press on your foundation. 
from your core, hands behind your low back. Press the top edge of your hand into your low back and start to lift your heart up, then your gaze, then your shin, then begin to squeeze your shoulder blades together, arching through your back. Maybe you can go a little bit lower this side. Engage your booty and hold it for five, for four, three, two. Slowly firm your belly and start to bring yourself forward using the power of your core. Tailbone back, child's pose one more time. On the second round, bring your hands towards your ankles. Let your shoulders run forward. Soften through your upper body. Plank. Bring your hands in front of you. Today, let's do it on the forearms. So forearms down. Palms pressing down into your mat. Extend one leg, tucking the toes under, and then the next leg. Integrate the whole body here to help you support you through this pose. So press your heels back. Soft knees so the energy can flow through the whole leg. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Lift your belly from the ground. Lengthen through your spine. Press through your forearms. Whoo! <laughs> and you hear the shake of my voice. I'm feeling it for sure. Let's do 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slowly knees down, then lower your belly down on the ground. Left cheek on the floor. Open the palms. Open the arms to the side. Palms facing down. Take a couple breaths here. Switch right cheek down on the mat. And take a couple breaths. Gently bring your hands underneath your shoulders, forehead on the mat. Bend your knees, toes up to the sky. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And let's see if we can keep the whole body integrated to push away from the ground and lift your belly from the floor. Hold in here, just for five, for four, three, two. Lengthen your legs and come back to sitting pose. So your arms behind your back. Underlace your fingers. You can bring the palms together like so, or you can keep the palms, palms apart and do like a little square situation. That's happening behind your back. Hug your shoulder blades together. Firm your belly towards the spine. And breathe. Breathe. I always say that, right? Breathe, breathe. Even though the breathing process happens naturally. However, sometimes we forget to breathe. We hold our breath, making things harder for ourselves. So you see through the breath. One more. Release your arms. Right palm up, bring it right on your lap. Left palm up, bring it on top of the right one. And let your arms both rest on your lap. Soften your shoulders and close your eyes. This is where we're going to finish our practice today. And I invite you throughout the day 
to practice that idea of speaking with integrity. Only saying what you mean. And most especially, putting attention on the way that you speak to yourself. You gotta be careful with what you say to yourself. Because you are listening. for sharing your time and your energy with me and I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you